If rowing a faster 500 is on your target goal list, this is your workout. Today's workout is going to specifically put you in a similar time range to what 500 meters would be to give you more practice with stroke rate control, following along with me to get confident putting force and power into this machine over the distance and time that is going to be necessary to improve your 500 meters. If this is your first time here, welcome to Dark Horse where we build better humans through rowing so that you can live the life you wanna live. Let's cut to the chase on today's workout. It's going to be one minute and 30 seconds with a one minute and 30 second rest, three times through. This is going to be at a stroke rate 20, 24, and 28. The objective being that higher stroke rate is what you would actually use if you were testing a 500 meter piece. Then, after you finish that nine minutes, if you are serious about improving your 500 meter, you would repeat at least one more time, if not two more times, so that you would end up with six or nine one minute and 30 second intervals. And now for the question that the PDP Army loves to ask, what's my drag factor? We're gonna check it out here. Currently, my damper is going to be set at a low four, yeah, right about the low four. On my machine, that's a drag factor of 115. The reason I'm using that is because I want to be able to produce speed through the drive, not get stuck on a really heavy damper setting slash drag factor. You choose what you wanna do, but that's what I'm gonna use. For those of you new to rowing workouts, let's go through the setup quickly. First and foremost, getting your feet adjusted. You're gonna set the foot stretchers such that the strap runs across the widest part of your foot, whatever machine you're using. Next. You're gonna sit forward on the seat. Not so much that you feel like you're falling off, but definitely not at the back. So scoot your butt forward. Next, you're gonna take that handle, hands nice and wide on the handle, thumbs underneath, and a relaxed grip, not in the palms. If the handle is touching your palms, you know you're gripping too tight. So that's gonna be our setup position. So get the hands set, get the butt in place, and get the feet set. Now for actually setting up your monitor, I'm going to put the detailed instructions in the description below, but for basic purposes, it's going to be select workout, new workout, intervals, intervals time, one minute and 30 seconds of work, one minute and 30 seconds of rest, that will repeat now for every time that you need to do it. And PDP Army, make sure that you guys stick around for each interval because at the end of each interval, I'm gonna give you a tip leading into the next interval so that you can improve each time and go into it with some, some firepower of what you wanna be focusing on so that you can get better through this workout, not just do another workout. Okay, machines are set, I'm ready to go. Get your handle in your hands and let's kick this thing off. Minute 30, starting at stroke rate 20. Again, make sure that you tune in at the end of this interval and at the end of each one, I'm gonna give you tips for the following interval. Sitting ready. Three, two, one, let's dark horse. So you're just settling in right now to that 20. Learning how to put force into every stroke instead of letting the stroke rate spin out of control. Try to be strong through each drive. Letting the legs do the pushing. I love my fans, don't need no friends, I got my homies Thought I could trust you, I find out you try to zone me I'm number one up on that court, I'm Nick great. The first one in, the last one out, can't call me lazy Put in my hours, send me invoice, and they pay me I need six rings like MJ and Tom Brady I wake up, flex, thumb down that check, no drip is wet. Tell run it off, no sleep, no rest. Might crash, my brain, but first I stretch. Tell run it off, I wake up, flex, thumb down that check, no drip is wet. Tell run it off, no sleep, no rest. Might crash, my brain, but first I stretch. Tell run it off, y'all gon' make me take that trip way out to Europe. I call up Nigeria. All right, that's your first interval down. Uh, keep rowing. Spin. Don't let your legs stop. You keep going. So, what I want you thinking about, that last piece, that first 500, you should be thinking about power delivery. The reason being, you're trying to prime the pump so that your body gets comfortable pushing hard because that's where your force comes from. 
these jiggly guys right here. That's what drives force into the machine. And when I say speed, or when you wanna think going faster, that comes from speed, your ability to push into the machine, not speed of the system, not stroke rate. Stroke rate is icing on the cake to help power delivery or help force production. So this second piece now, you're going into a stroke rate 24. It's gonna be bumped up a little bit, which means you need to be faster through the drive. And I want you to think acceleration. What I'm gonna be thinking about is a smooth catch, not jamming on it, but trying to finesse the catch and then accelerate all the way through the drive, finding the balance between stroke rate and power delivery. 10 seconds to go. Stroke rate 24, follow along with me here. Check back in in the next interval. We're gonna give you the final tip going into that final minute and a half. Two, one, here we go. Light catches, accelerate. Whoop, gotta bring the stroke rate up. There we go. Light and quick. Think accelerate all the way through the drive. my heart rate climbing there. I don't know about you. Okay, keep going. Light rowing as I talk to you. Just move well. Move with good intention. This is the time to practice mechanics. Okay, you keep going. So, what I want you thinking about on this final piece. That last one is about Finding the balance between force delivery and acceleration. When we take this final stroke rate up to a 28, you need to think fast through the drive and lighter. By creating more speed through the drive and creating a higher stroke rate, things are gonna to start to feel lighter on the handle because we keep the flywheel spinning longer. But when you slow the stroke rate down, the flywheel has more time to slow down and therefore, when you go to take your stroke, it feels much heavier. With a high stroke rate, the flywheel stays spinning and we have to connect with it, which means that I have to control my recovery and be fast and snappy at the catch to catch up to the speed of the flywheel. I hope that makes sense. 10 seconds to go. Quick speed at the catch, staying light through the recovery, light and fast through the drive. Here we go. Two, 128. Right on. Not muscling it, you're finessing it. Finesse the machine, don't smash it. Smooth on the recovery.
Ah! There we go. That's a 28. Keep spinning. You still got a minute and a half of rest left. Uh, so, take this. If you truly want a better 500, you need to repeat this at least once, if not twice. Essentially, you're putting yourself at doing six or nine 500 meter pieces. The reason it's a minute and a half is that is a good range of time to work towards for a 500 meter. Doesn't matter if that's what you actually are. Don't judge yourself based off of if you're close to that or not. A minute and a half is just a good range time to get you focused on the capacity to achieve a 500 meter. Ah. So, what do we learn? Number one, as you're warming up into it, that first 500 is gonna be force delivery. Number two is gonna be blending, force and acceleration. And number three, we work hard to stay focused on acceleration, staying light and quick. Those three things are gonna help you improve at that 500 meter, and that's your target as you wanna improve a 500 meter distance. Workouts like this are great for helping you improve your capacity and get better towards your goals on the rower, but you also need technique. So check out this playlist on how to improve your technique and subscribe so you get alerted when we come out with new videos.